Tim Leffler, this is uh, my 1984 uh, Toyota Sunraider 4x4 and uh, done a lot of modifications to it. Uh, it's a pretty sweet ride. So uh, on the front, uh, all the way around, we went to uh, 33 inch tires. Um, they're, yeah, they're pretty wide. They can definitely handle the load. Um, went to four wheel disc brakes. Uh, which is an upgrade, obviously the winch and the uh, trail armor, and um, yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. It's slow. I'll probably ma mention that again. It's a four-cylinder 22R, uh, five-speed manual. So if you're in a hurry, this is not the rig for you. <laughs> uh, let's come around this side. Sure. Up on top, we have a 265-watt solar panel. Got two Group 34 AGM batteries. Uh, we've got the 12 volt compressor fridge. Awesome. Uh, it's been lifted quite a bit. Uh, it's got an anti sway bar that's uh, been customized off of a Ford Excursion, so it's super solid on the road. And it's a motorhome, so it's got a heater, it's got a water heater, it's got a toilet, it's got a wet shower, it's got an outside shower, um, it's got a furnace, it's got an air conditioner, if you run a generator, and uh, it's got full of USB ports and everything that you need for uh, your devices. Here's the cab on the inside. Uh, we changed the bucket seats out uh, to a decent sized uh, seat so you can still pass through the middle. overhangs the cab so you have a really nice uh, visor as you're driving. Uh, the cab obviously was cut out when they built the motorhome and this piece of the mattress folds over here uh, for nighttime. You've got a little curtain, you've got another curtain that snaps on so if it's hot or cold you can kind of manage the temperature and not have to heat or cool the cab. Um, it's got a little fan up here, it's got all new LED lighting throughout it. And then, because uh, it's a motorhome, it's got a, a black water tank and a toilet and uh, the shower. It's called a wet shower, so um, yeah, everything gets wet in there. Nice little fan. Uh, uh, it's got a brand new stove, three burner we put in. Um, it's got a 30 gallon water tank. Uh, it's got the the heater and then you've got drawers you can do all your silverware and everything So it's pretty plush. This is a closet or you could uh, put shelves in it for more storage uh, The air conditioner we took off the roof and put a small one here Which is more than enough for the small size rig. It's 5,000 BTU This is the Ingle uh, 12 volt compressor fridge. So if you're four-wheeling you know, it cools at 100% efficiency, even at a 30 degree tilt, which I don't know if I'd want to get in a 30 degree tilt with <laughs> this, but uh, that's how that works. Redid all the cabinet. I've got a Xantrex uh, 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Uh, so you can plug in, uh, you know, your laptop or whatever you need to charge off of that, run a blender, make margaritas or smoothies. Um, yeah, then we'll show you the back. So the rear dinette is one of the really cool features, I think, of the Sun Raider. Uh, you've got the table here. This obviously comes down, and you can sleep another person in it, maybe two kids. Um, and then it just, you know, slides out when you're ready to, to eat. Um, but we love the view. You know, you back up, and it's just friggin' incredible to check everything out. It, you know, it's a small space, but it doesn't feel like it because you got windows all the way around. Uh, we, we took off that roof air conditioner. We put in a fantastic uh, fan. It's three speeds, it's reversible, it's thermostatically controlled. So it's really nice. You open it up, you go for a hike. Uh, when it gets too hot, the fan automatically comes on, runs off the solar system, and keeps it nice on the inside. So there's your, uh, your, your voltage off the solar system. And then you've got a, a USB ports. 
and you've got a 12 volt accessory uh, plug. And I've got uh, another set up here also, I'm charging my phone off of. And then this is the uh, solar uh, meter, so you can see what's going on with the with the solar system all the time. Uh, at a glance. Yeah.